Hi students. Welcome back to the class. Today I am going to explain the chapter Elements, Compounds and Mixture. Elements, Compounds and Mixture. So in this chapter, first sentence, first word we want to learn very clearly. Matter. So the matter transferred into two different substances. That's the most important. First one, pure substance. Second one, mixture. So the pure substance means the pure substance is transferred into two categories. The first one, element, and the second one, compound. Okay. So what is mean by element? Very clearly, we want to know in this chapter what is element, and the second is what is compound, and the third is what is mixture. First one. element an element is a substance that cannot be broken into simpler substances cannot be broken into smaller by physical or any ordinary chemical means so element is a substance that cannot be broken into simpler substances by physical or chemical it may be exists independently or combined with other elements to make many types of substances it may be exist in independently or combined with other elements combined with other elements to make many types of substances that's an element I will give some example about the uh, elements. See this thing here. Hydrogen and oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur. These are the different elements. These are the different elements. So these elements exist in independently. other elements to make many types of substances so here hydrogen and the oxygen are both two different elements separate different character different uh, property but the both are combined to the bit to form a compound so hydrogen two atoms of hydrogen and combined with oxygen to form a compound water So in the case of in this carbon reacts with the oxygen to form a carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. The next one, compound. The pure substance is classified into two categories: element and compound. Element means already explained. The second one, compound. The compound means. It is an element. The name copper. And it is an oxygen. The both are combined together into form a copper oxide, Cu4. Copper oxide. Otherwise, the hydrogen reacts with the oxygen into form water. Into form a So these are the examples of compound. These are the examples of compound. It means the two different elements combined together into form a simple or common substance. 
a simpler substance that is called a compound. Here I am giving the two examples. One is a copper reacted with the oxygen into form a copper oxide, and the hydrogen reacted with the oxygen into form a water. So here, one more uh, important sentence is written here: the element in a compound, element in a compound, are chemically combined. Chemically combined in a fixed ratio. In a fixed ratio. What is a fixed ratio? That means, in the case of the water, the ratio one is to each by their mass. In all elements have different atomic mass. In the modern periodic table, there are 180 elements. Each element having different different atomic mass. So here, the hydrogen in the periodic table first the atomic mass is also one. In the oxygen, atomic number eight, mass also sixteen, mass sixteen, atomic mass sixteen. Okay. So here. How to get the atomic uh, mass? Otherwise, the ratio of the water. First one, we take two hydrogen, one hydrogen one, and two hydrogen two, and then only one oxygen, or one oxygen having atomic mass sixteen, so sixteen. Two hydrogen two, and atomic atomic mass of oxygen sixteen. So we simplify this to one is to eight. So this is the ratio of the water. In all compounds having different ratio. Okay. Next one. Mixture. Third point. Mixture. What is it? Mixture. The substance that are not pure. The substance is not. Pure is called mixture. I hope all of you know the word mixture. The mixing of two or more different types of substance combined together into form a mixture. The best example is the soil. We want to add some of the soil and we want to separate, segregate the size and the size of the um, soil. So we will see sometimes the biggest of stones and sand and clay. So these three are mixed together into form a mixture. So we want to simply say they cannot, they are not pure. So this is called a mixture. The actually the mixture classified into two categories: homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture. I will explain this to you in next chapter, next uh, topic. is coming soon the next day so i hope the mixer is the substance that are not pure is called a mixer two types of mixer that is a homogeneous second one heterogeneous dear students i hope all of you understood this topic thank you